Is a new progression title coming to the game? Battlegrounds Season 9 meta and more details about this new season have been revealed. How's the Mystic Titan vote going with one champion being out in the front running? And should these champions that are hotly seen in the game as being some god tier be nerfed? Well, this player seems to think so. Not, not me, by the way. But we're going to be talking about that and uh, what Kabam have to say in response to it. But hello everybody, welcome to your Wednesday MCN tons to go over. Now hit the button of likes and subscribe with post notifications on all do those lovely things. Follow on Twitter, I'm on there. We're nearly close to 11,000 followers. And you know, I'll retweet stuff from MCOC, keep you informed with stuff, all those lovely things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now first of all, we did do a video about this yesterday, so go and check out the full video of that one. It's more of a breakdown. But but the live stream of the 250th champion has been kind of released and there's a lot of things to look into like uh, gladiators first look which is pretty darn impressive it's a really good looking character i don't mean like in an attractive way but uh, you know it's just like it is work it works it's good it's so good you know um mcc do a great job the art department do a fantastic job they're all they also went over the late death strike edition also a new champion kill no it's what it's kindred god it's the wrong one they kill something or other no it's kindred um but yeah full dissection of that uh, which is likely kindred is the july champion you'll find out more in that particular video and also check out the stream which i'll put a link to in the description down below and also an exciting kind of like bringing you up to speed with stuff at the point of recording this video which it is indeed tuesday as uh, this week i've started my new job and i'm trying to figure out my schedule and things so i'm pre-recording stuff and making sure that this goes out of the normal time the mystic vote for the titan pool has been revealed now i personally am a big fan of juggernaut i've been since the champions being buffed i've been very excited about that champion use the champion a lot especially in eop and recently picked up a six star version which uh, i did actually actually no i've used that for eop i awakened it and high signatured it in order to get that nullify off and i love that champion i should do another video about that champion because I, I, I did really enjoy it and i'm surprised that people like him as well i mean there's a lot to like about the champion and currently the voting situation is as follows and this is really spicy because the 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 way that this voting is very much in favor of juggernaut which i am surprised with the likes of longshot diablo and spider-man supreme why well, i personally thought spider-man supreme which another great eop uh, champion by the way i used that champion uh, for the spider-verse based one I am surprised. I am surprised that it is slightly lagging behind at 33,000, no, 33.8% uh, of the vote versus the 38 juggernaut uh, percent that is uh, just kind of like plowing forward. I am surprised, but I'm really happy about that. I love juggernaut, but I enjoy it more for an offensive option rather than a defensive option. Spider Man has a double whammy about him. I'm not saying Juggernaut doesn't have a defensive quality about him. It's just a case of like, well, I, I'm just really surprised by this, but in a good way. Now let's get into three very meaty stories within the community. This one's really interesting. And the reason I'm going to be covering this one is a lot of the time I get people just say to me, Rich, I hear that Hercules is being nerfed and this champion is being nerfed. And I say, where do you get the info from? Global chat. This content creator said it. One thing that we'll do on this channel is we'll look at when people are mentioning certain things but most of the time, nine times out of ten, I will make sure we've got a response from a Kaban member of staff to kind of align to the narrative of the story. And that's what we're doing in this particular one here. Where this player uh, says, why, should, uh, why we should nerf the top champs in every class. It's always very interesting with this. And at the end of the day, I don't kind of like, you know, we're not going to you know, shit on people for kind of like having their own opinion of the game. Have your own opinion of the game. Have your opinion on champions and whether or not you think they're overpowered, underpowered uh, and stuff like that. But of course, people differ of opinion on these particular matters. And of course, this player has 64 disagrees, which looks on the sentiment so far as being that players do not agree with uh, any of these sentiments. It's well rounded enough to kind of cover some elements. Um, but I, as I said, always when we try to kind of cover things like this is to find out how how Kabam are kind of responding to this as obviously like they've got to understand the matter of things. I mean, look, they've probably seen it as much as this player men mentions here, which is a fair, it, this is a fair assessment. Uh, white and blacklisting system in Alliance Wars is becoming a revolving door of the same busted champions. Like, 
well, that's that's a fair assessment. That's pretty much what it is. Hey, you like Human Torch and Alliance Wars? Yeah, can't use him. He's banned. You like Hercules in um, in that as well? Yeah, can't use him. He's banned. Uh, Magneto? No, can't use him. He's banned. Um, Nimrod? Oh, he's been banned again. Uh, so, look, it is, it is a fair assessment. It, it is the assessment. It's a correct assessment as well. Uh, but I don't know if it uh, necessarily means... It just means that, like, a lot of these top-rated champions that are being used... Uh, are great options and great counters for situations. And the problem that Marvel Contest of Champions has got, unless as players, is it's falling on its own. It's a double-edged sword. Like, we need counter champions, but at the same time, if they're the regular and same countering champions, uh, then that breeds repetition and Kabam trying to make content that's uh, overly trying to uh, appease, but also, you know, please. Which is why a lot of the time in SideQuest, I try not to do it when I'm doing guides, is to mention Hercules, but a lot of the time it's like, Oh yeah, do you have a miscounter? I want to use Hercules. Need something that's kind of like got this? Use Hercules. This, Hercules. Just try and avoid it. I'm just trying to avoid it as much as possible. But in any case, different opinions on the matter. Some people kind of uh, not really agreeing. I'd say kind of going a different direction. And I think the problem is like and when sentiments like this happen, when the player base has invested their rank ups into a particular champion because they are a great counter, a great option, and a great damage dealer or whatever, Having that then stripped away from them is very, very stinky, sticky, and not good from Kabam's standpoint, and it doesn't won't feel good from you as a player because you'll just you'll be very annoyed with the developer. But and same thing with like Archangel with because stuff with neurotoxins. But in any case, at the points like these, it's always important to see like you know what um, what Kabam um, say in response to this uh, this sentiment. Uh, to the original post, you are correct. These they are champions that remove critical design space and create long-term negative and uh, no amount of individual counters will do when there are multiple straight up broken champs. But as you can see from the reactions there, changes to those champions would not go over well. I also don't know if your list is correct. Hercules, Kitty, Doom. Uh, and of course, we mentioned that. I mentioned Kitty Pride. If you saw a live stream, not live stream, a podcast uh, a while ago, which we talk about and reference quite a bit, is a Kaban member of staff said that they would have liked to have nerfed the likes of Hercules, or, you know, they made a mistake with making Hercules too powerful. But also, Kitty Pride as well is another one of those huge damage dealers uh, and then kind of sucks the fun uh, out of stuff. And I can't stand overly rated champions or overly mentioned champions because I just find that's kind of like too. Well, it's too basic uh, at times, and that's why a lot of the time I try to very rarely, um, you know, promote them. Although I did in the side quest, but that's because Human Torch is a miscounter, Hercules is a miscounter. Yes, there are other miscounters, but sometimes you're like, well, I want to do a lot of damage, or Kabam made something very specific, which happens a lot of the time. Command Mike goes further on to say, but as a reminder to everybody else, everyone is welcome to their opinion and in these forums, if you disagree with them, you must do respectfully, your opinion is valid, but so are other people's. There are too many personal attacks in this thread and a lot of disrespect for each other. Uh, that isn't okay, so I'm just going to shut it down because I don't see this turning around. I agree, it, it, this is the problem with it. We, had, I think the other day covered when somebody did their fantastic kind of response where it was just like, you know, um, well, I, I, my opinion on this is this, um, I see where you're coming from, but you know, I disagree. It's like, you know, it's just like it's the polite way of dealing with it, which, you know, and I know that sometimes you've got to look at situations like this overly, an overly antagonistic, but you've got to be really, you know, it's like try to be good to each other, really, really do. I've got to learn sometimes to be good to, be good to other people. Um, I do as bad a job as possible. I think a lot of us. Now we move on to an unverified story and uh, maybe slight opinion on stuff with an interesting twist. So I saw this uh, thread right here and it interested me. It interested me because Hulkbuster N1 says, So, as we can see, there is a Paragon Plus in the table. This is when referring to the update of the store, which is going in um, tomorrow. Does it mean that we'll get a new title soon? That can probably happen somewhere on 8.3 release. I also see requirements something like you should complete 8.3.6 and have at least 5 champions, 7 star rank 2 or 6 star rank 5. I'm not 100% sure if it would be that case uh, and definitely like a spider-man guy says the soonest progression title would be 8.4 uh completion in my opinion but of course that uh, you know it could happen it's nothing to say it will and there's nothing to say it won't it's just a case of like it might 
Caban will add more titles. We, we say might because Caban will add more titles. If you think they're going to stop at Paragon, then what, what, what are you talking about? It's like if people thought that the game was going to stop on Uncollected, again, you'd be, um, be mistaken and no one are here sitting on Paragon titles and we've gone through Cavalier, Thronebreaker, and now we're at Paragon. So it's likely to happen in the future. But there was question mark is when is this going to happen? But it certainly was interesting looking at the Battleground store and as uh, was even pointed out that uh, there is a Paragon Plus, which you can see right there. It says PG Plus and I'm not talking about some kind of like film accreditation as being, you know, that. So PG Plus right there. And I'm not talking about PG Tips either. The uh, popular cup of tea bag thing. I don't drink breakfast tea weird being british i drink peppermint tea as a as an alternative less caffeine uh and less hassle um but uh yeah like could there be a paragon title coming at some stage bam still haven't responded to this but you know it's like they wouldn't give away all their hand on this particular stuff but it was interesting to note that extra plus that's been added into these uh these pgs uh so yeah what do you think? Do you think a new title is just coming to Marvel Contest of Champions? Put it in the comment section down below. And now on to the final thing we're going to cover today. Normally I would do arena predictions, but I don't know. I think Kabam Zibit might have been one of the people that was laid off at Kabam uh, because they haven't posted on the 23rd of May. And normally they would cover stuff like uh, the upcoming arenas, which we could say like it's, it's likely to be a champion associated with Danny Moonstar in this event. So it could be like Sunspot or it could be something else. I don't know. So we'll, we'll have to shift the predictions to being um, on... Friday, so don't know what's happening there. Um, yeah, any case, we've got to get to Battlegrounds Season 9 meta and scoring adjustment. Some really interesting changes that have been made for Kabam on this one. So, for Season 9, we're supercharging rewards in the event for this season. Of course, we know this. Um, these changes are going to be exclusive to the Season 9 and get them while they can. Along with all these exciting reward changes, we'll also be moving the Gladiator Circuit down uh, to two metas rather than four, each spanning over two weeks. I think this is good because then there's like any kind of issues Kabam gets to kind of like, you know, fix it, sort it out. And it's less, it's less messier. Um, it's more tidier, sorry, there's the wrong terminology there. Uh, the final change will be a tweak in the maximum point. Uh, that time will grant summoners. So, yeah, this runs June 28th to uh, July 26th. So, uh, look out for that. We've noticed as well, this is interesting, the points change side of things. I'll have to enlarge this because this is this is actually a big, a, a pretty big change. And just kind of like s stops a lot of... Uh, thought about assigning certain champions uh, as kind of defending options and that's the thing I was finding really boring it's just like there's always champions that kind of make fight I think I said about this before so it's weird that this is something that Kabam are changing we've noticed a large trend of time being the defining factor in top tier games and as a result defenders that extend the fight being con consistently picked so that's like Sasquatch long duration special attacks so your apocalypses and stuff like that we don't want to shift things too much and still want to want time still want time to be a source of points but want the main focus to be winning the fight in the best possible condition which yes um that's going to be interesting because the max fight duration points is 15,000, which has been uh, with 15,000. Now it's down to 10,000. So that's going to be something that's uh, it's big, bit a bit of a bone of contention. But at least it could be something that could be beneficial for those that struggle against people that are fielding these kind of slower to throw uh, type champions uh, in this one. But it's interesting nevertheless. As you know, the uh, solo events have been buffed since uh, the announcement of the um, Alliance Wars season not going on next season. And the Alliance event as well has been buffed. So uh, going for the individual kind of push it's going to be beneficial same thing for those that are going for the um uh, the alliance based push make sure as well to get your follows in over on twitch but thank you very much to those that support as a youtube member and as a patreon also those that do support on twitch uh, i was back live streaming on uh, monday and i may be on to maybe maybe i did on tuesday i don't know because i'm recording this on tuesday so i have to finish this off and then think about am i going to be doing that but in any case uh make sure to uh, to kind of renew your amazon prime uh tw twitch sub that'd be great and as well check out some other content located on screen i'll see you all soon have a great day bye bye